Yeah, I mean, the reason that Fnatic G2 will be a relevant matchup always is just like, I guess, the historic uh, achievements from both teams. Uh, winning a lot of titles and stealing a lot of players and all the banter. Uh, I think they have been like the two predominantly, I mean, the organizations themselves, they, they are very outspoken and very out there, you know, compared to all the other European orcs. So I think it's just natural that the, the matches between those two teams carry so much weight. It was Wunder coming to us now. I think the rivalry got another layer to it because finally Fnatic got a player from D2 and not the other way around. Oh my god, the full work! Oh! Are they gonna get him? No! Wonder! You got amongst men! He's not always in his top pick. I mean, if he plays all the mechanically hard champs, I might probably just laugh at him when he ganks my lane. Yankos. They're forced to try and take this tower, but it's Yankos from behind! This is the beginning of a new chapter for both of these teams. Historically, G2 have had the edge in this rivalry. But with Fnatic's undefeated start to the split, G2 come in as the underdogs. The former champions are starting their season strong, but the other former champions have something to say about it. The reason that Fnatic G2 will be a relevant matchup always is just like, I guess, the historic achievements from both teams. I think it's just natural that the, the matches between those two teams carry so much weight. Fnatic topple G2 and now your spring! G2, they take it! G2 are your champion! Will join man and rogue at world! These organizations have been responsible for some of the greatest moments in European League history and watching them face each other feels like you're watching a battle for the soul of the LEC. Even if there's only Hulisang left from my time in Fnatic, I can still feel the rivalry going around with us. I will always have that with Fnatic. There will always be this feeling of proving that it was the right decision to move away, even if it's so many years ago at this point. This is the beginning of a new chapter for both of these teams. It is a chance for these players to stamp their mark on a clash that has lasted years. It was Wunder coming to us now. I think the rivalry got another layer to it because finally Fnatic got a player from D2 and not the other way around. It doesn't mean that new wounds cannot be formed by old allies. When it comes to Wunder, I know him and I know how good he can be. Oh my god, the full work! Oh! Are they gonna get him? No! Wonder! You got amongst men! But I also know that he's not always in his top pick. I mean, if he plays all the mechanically hard champs, I might probably just laugh at him when he ganks my lane, but uh, I think if he can go back to, like, Sack or Sajrani, I think he'll perform pretty well, yeah. Yankos is forced to try and take this tower, but it's Yankos from behind! And new rivalries are born. I'm really excited to actually face you too because of my Spanish boy, Flacket. I really want to beat him up. It feels kind of weird to be suddenly a part of, of it because I've been watching those teams play against each other for years now and now this year I'm going to be part of those games so it's definitely very exciting. Such a big fan. Ooh, Bones Keeper comes out just in time. Aurelia now throwing out the ult. That's the lockdown. Target is incredibly squishy, but G2 have the damage. As the Flame Chompers, there's Advian flashing away, but the Flash Chase is there. Exhaust not enough to keep Advian alive. Broken Blade, he's doing a lot of damage. Ignite is ticking, Jedi's just trying to survive, but Broken Blade, oh! This man is prehistoric, he's like, nah! Razzle with a great Clash Kick will just deliver Certus to upset. Both of these teams have a point to prove. Not just to themselves, but to the fans. Players old and new will have a chance to stamp their mark on the greatest rivalry in the LEC. For Resorks, Lee Sin going up against yeah, they lost two one game. Oh, yeah, so I mean, let's see what happens. Hey, look, it's a set stats, right? Top laner, Aatrox, also very good into Gragas. I mean, Aatrox notoriously good into things like Scion and Orin and the old school tank meta. But I'm actually not sure. It's Targama, so he plays Ooh. a lot of uh, <laughs> Zillion. Zillion. Yeah, Zillion is really good, actually. But I'm not sure how, if the laning phase is going to be that easy for them since they Because always says to me, we need a third number, so we find one to put on that. Hillisang and Upset, they're in a good position to harass here. Flacket down to about half HP as Hillisang continues just to get the damage down. Exhaust used there onto Hillisang. He's used walking away. He will take a chunk in response, but... So I wonder if Yamato's just reminding him that he's young, he's performing well, and that he can have a strong early game for this Fnatic lineup. It's uh, obviously... 
a lot of weight put onto you as we see trades both in the mid and the bottom lane as a Fnatic John two in the LEC. You can see first across the board, half from CSD. As he slides and glides his way onto Caps. Now, Razork Sonic Wave Dominion there, perhaps not the target he was looking for. Caps with the Ghost will be able to run this one up across the river. No. Humanoid will be securing a plate alongside Hillisang, so. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can hear that on stream, but currently we hear Trevor backstage sighing quite deeply. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear a lot of things. <laughs> I would appreciate it if my colleagues could stop talking. Yeah, can you just be uh, quiet for a moment, guys? Backstage is a bit difficult to concentrate. If, if, <laughs> thank you very much, friends. Targumus with the double bomb. There's the stun. Cap still has flash. It uh, doesn't have flash. It already burned it. Of course, Razork's going to flash over the head. saying Yankos with the Q3. He gets the knob hurt, but Razork smites at the dragon. Will die in the end. Yankos might actually die just to the dragon itself. One more order would be enough. Hillisang takes it with an assist from our helpful Wyvern in the river. Heal onto Hillisang, into the flash, into the flame chompers, just short. Hillisang will escape. My eyes on Razork right now. He is sitting in fog. And uh, Caps is going to be met by him. Ooh. Caps, no way to escape that one. Yankos here. Hillisang coming in with the Predator as well. Broken Blades works his way down from the top side, but Wonder is on the flank. And Wonder may be looking for vengeance versus his former team. Yankos with the Crescent Guard. Wonder, flash, body slam. Yankos down. Wonder kills him. First time we've said that in a darn long time. Defeated. They've only lost to Rogue. And although G2 have had a promising start to spring, it hasn't been as strong as Fnatic's. Let's have a look at this play from Humanoid right now. The slide and glide very easily done. Caps has no summoners. Then the kick over the wall, just beautiful. Now Fnatic. No, they have the numbers advantage. They have sight on Broken Blade. Wonder coming in for the collapse. G2 tries to go for the fight. The two-man knocker from Hillisang into the flash E from Wonder. It was only a matter of time before Azir eventually came back. You yep. know when Corky's in the meta, Azir is soon to follow, and it's Humanoid that ends up bringing it out. And just look at the pressure that Humanoid is able to put down. He Caps. is diving under the tower. Yankos is right there, but he does not care. That's going to force the ghost out from Caps. The ultimate misses as well. We'll probably avoid it. I think Caps won't be able to, because Hillisang's here with the quickness. Caps does have the flash to try and get away. Doesn't use it, charmed up, but the Chrono Ship will bring him back, and Caps Walks right into the midst of the fight, kills off Humanoid. Razork now on the wrong side of dodge. He's exhausted, knocked up double. But Caps baited and outsmarted. Caps was waiting with Targamus by his side. Oh, but feel the frustration as Razork thought that he could trade one for one, but ends up not being able to get anything off the back of it. And this initial engage looks promising. Caps throws down the gravity well to buy time, and then he gets his ultimate here. And this is where you can see Fnatic just waiting. They're like, we don't want to proc it yet. We're just going to wait. Razork is holding on. Humanoid does in the backline, and then the ultimate just comes through as Razork makes the commitment. Because he costs his flash, there's no way for him to get out of this situation. And G2 find themselves two kills, both going on to Caps. This humanoid is actually looking for a play in the top lane. Broken Blade has the ult, will pop it for the extra movement speed. Wonder not able to land the body slam. Does get the knockback though, and Broken Blade with a good flash away from the Emperor's Divide. Can try and turn this one, there's no Grievous Wounds. I mean, it's just a good bit of deep vision. It's not really going to mean a huge amount for the time being because Fnatic is going into G2's jungle. Yankos dies back onto Humanoid Crescent Guard, will keep him safe for now. TP used by Wonder. The priority should just be that for now. Fnatic though, don't want to slow down. Broken Blade kick back, should be able to get underneath the tower, has the world ender, the ultimate, but doesn't have flash, remember. Targum is here with the Chrono Shift, Rift is going to charge in. Remember, Caps, no TP on the Victor, so he isn't able to instantaneously respond to any fight like this, but he can find a flank. Has the Ghost as an option. Humanoid will spot out Caps, damage coming down, Caps flashes away from the grand entrance, TP coming in now with Broken Blade, looks to join the fray. G2 not there in time, Flacket getting time warp, trying to get into the fight. Let's do the time warp against this Targumus as he continues to speed up Flacket. Get excited, in the heel, there's the speed for Broken Blade to chase on Hillisang. Razork has to flash the wall, G2 find two. But let's see if Fnatic can contest. Razork still alive, has the smite, but no flash. I'm just going to try and switch guns as quickly as he can. You can see Calibrum on this blue buff. Get rid of that Calibrum. Get yourself a, a better gun in Fernum. That's what he was looking for. Simply force a Baron in this sort of situation to get the TPs out. And in fact, by pushing through the mid lane, they get the TP immediately into the root, into the stun, into the death. That TP sucks, humanoid. He thought he was safe, but he was not. G2 ready to pounce, and they are willing to keep on fighting. Hillisang and Razork forced down towards the bottom side. Two quick towers, two G2 in the mid lane, and everything, all the... Which means that G2 know exactly where it's going. So the gravity well goes down, the flame chompers go down, he just gets perma CC'd, and all of this long-range damage comes out of nowhere. 
with which he has absolutely no answer for. Broken Blade steps forward. Wonder could look for an engage here. The barrel back. Broken Blade used his dash to go forward. Couldn't find the engage. Hillisang tries to get onto the back line, but immediately has to pop the stopwatch. What can Humanoid do? Hillisang's burst, but Humanoid needs to get in there before he gets this. Destroyed. A double for Yankos, G2 on the offensive. Razork on the defensive, kicks them away, but they're having none of that today. They continue to chase, to chase, to chase. Wonder Force away, Caps flashing forward against this former team. Caps trying to clean up, can't quite get the damage down, but G2 still find two kills. The fight in their favor and they end up securing a Baron. So let's have a look. Humanoid and Wonder are the two you need to keep your eyes on. Broken Blade oversteps ever so slightly. The damage then comes through, but this stopwatch by so much time. Hilly then commits his ultimate, isn't able to find anyone, throws it on, Broken Blade backs off, and now Hilly finds himself in a very awkward position where he just can't get any assistance. Humanoid does no damage to Yankos. He's now in the awkward position. He gets blown up and... Like the rest of Fnatic really couldn't get involved in the fight. It felt like this weird standoff between like the two front lines. Fnatic on the Baron, Broken Blade on the flank. Yankos can get in there. It's almost gone. Explosive Cars already taken out, but Yankos dives in. Razzle Glow kicks Yankos back into his team. Wonder trying to flash away. Barrel already used. Fnatic now, full on retreat. Can you get out with the Baron? Can you get out with your lives? That's the question. As the Broken Blade, the Darkened Blade slides in. Razzle and Humanoid force off to the top side. Blackhead gets the Chrono Shift. He doesn't need the life, but he does need the assist from Targamus. As much as Upset can get a single shot down, Blackhead gets three in G2 take the fight. And the carry from G2 come up clutch. Flackered and Caps wipe Fnatic off the map and they will look to take down Fnatic in the first bout of the split. G2 versus Fnatic. It is G2 that will come out on top. What a performance by G2 after being behind for so long. They fought and they fought and they fought and they caught out Fnatic in the final moments. G2 with a, an impressive win over Fnatic. And a mediocre <laughs> celebration, I but we give them credit for trying. <laughs> yeah, I They're no mad lions, but they'll get there, they'll get there. Oh, I respect it. Look at the excitement on their faces. A big win for G2. Five and two right now yep. after week three.